everything is going to be on the website for sale at a discount rate. But these guys right here, we're going to do a special on them. Okay, the first 50 that we get sold, it's going to be a $200. Okay, there are $250 on the website, but we're going to have a Black Friday sale. And for the first 50 that we sell, they're going to be at 200 bucks. Look at these guys. Really pretty Bumblebee grouper. Now, they get more yellow depending on the stress level. Like you can see like some of these guys are really yellow. Look at that. Ow. Oh. You saw that? Yeah. I'm acting like a linguine right now. Everything like, ow. It's kind of like over overreacting, right? Look, they're not afraid of anything. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to let them bite me. Maybe I'll put my pinky in then they'll bite. Here, grouper, grouper, grouper. No, he did it one time and that's it. Oh, oh, oh. He did it again. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say guys, I'm gonna say hey everybody, hey everyone, hope you're having a great night. Let's be nice to each other today. <laughs> okay, so we are having a Black Friday sale, okay? It's gonna be a store-wide sale with everything we have in stock. Last time we had a sale, a lot of you guys took advantage of it because the prices were really good. We're gonna do it again because it's a Black Friday and we want you guys to be able to have the fish you want at a lower price as well. And every time we can do that, we will. Now, this sale is gonna be probably for the next two weeks. I gotta figure out one week. Because, I'll tell you why. We're doing this earlier just because the fact that on the actual week of Black Friday, we're not gonna be able to ship. It's gonna be so many crazy, so many boxes being shipped that UPS is gonna be going super crazy and I don't wanna have a chance of losing a package or delaying a package and the fish arriving dead. So. For the sake of the fish, we're going to do that sale this week coming out, starting tomorrow, which is Saturday, all the way to next Saturday, and we can ship. The 14th to 21st. My boss said 14th to the 21st. All right, so let's start over here, starting with these guys. These are platinum angel fish. They're really pretty. I would say from top to bottom, they're already four or five inches. Uh, maybe I'm lying, maybe like four. Okay, really pretty fish. We also have a short body albino iridescent shark. And guys, again, you, you don't have to put a promo code. All these fish will be up on the website at a, a discounted rate, okay? Now, lints. We got nine lints in stock today from the last video, but these guys right here are sold. They're all going to Taiwan. We only have two that are gonna be here at the shop for sale, so we have two available on our website, okay? That's good. Are you okay? You feeling good? Yeah. All right, let's do this quick for you. Over here, we still have a couple larger red tail pyaras. There's the bigger ones, I'll say about that, the big one right there in front, it's about 12 inches. And then we have the smaller ones on this side. We also have the really nice whales cat. He's bigger than all the other guys, so I believe he's going to be a giant. Okay. Mm, going over here, start over here. We have all types of stingrays. Now, my favorite is this, this girl right here. It's actually a female. Let's see if she's gonna go down so you can see her markings. Let me uh, try to help out a little bit. Come on, baby. Look at that. Really pretty stingray. We have all types here in a stingray biology from pearls to hybrids, black diamonds, you name it. Now, like I said, my favorite is that one right there, right? And also, look at this one. Let's see if I can get my big old arm back there. I don't know why I have one rock over here. This guy. Come on, buddy, don't poke me. Really pretty as well. Great markings. And then up here we have some really good size silver iguanas. 
from Peru. Though these guys are looking like seven, six to seven inches, somewhere around eight. Great looking fish. A monster jowl. Now guys, this is a very hard fish to come by. Uh, I did sell two of them and I still have two left, but this guy is very personable. I don't know how he would do with other fish in a smaller setup. In a bigger setup, they're fine because I have two jowls in my big tank and they don't mess with anybody. Really cool fish. Here's another lens. So since we're gonna have him here for about five days a week, healing them up, you, whoever buys the two that are here, they can actually pick them. So here's another one. He's uh, healing up pretty good. We have this huge male Motoro. Now the markings on this guy is really pretty. He's a breeder, he's ready to go. If you guys are trying to breed stingrays, this Motoro is ready. Here is the other Jao. I can't believe he healed up so good. This one's a little bit small. Oh, whoa, 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 Gimbo. He's a little bit smaller than the other one, but also a very pretty fish. Okay, you wanna leave the whole wall for less? Cause that's a lot of fish over there. Okay. Let's start over here now. Okay, Piraebus. We're running low on Piraebus. We have this big dude over here. He's about 14, 16 inches. That's the true river monster, the true Piraeba. That's the Vailante catfish. It's the cousin of the Piraeba. That's, well, that's another Piraeba. Up here we have a lens, correct? Uh, yeah, we have a lens. He's doing really good. Over here we have two Barbada catfish. They're about 10, 12 inches. Over here we have the super red Oscar. I think all the solid ones might be sold. So we have, we didn't even put these guys on the website yet. These are short body, long fin, right? Veil tail, super red, super red tigers. tigers. Really cool. I think I might keep one of those as well. I saw a really nice short body in there that was really cool. Really pretty fish. Now we also have a lens to your left. And now guys, if the solid reds are still available, I will put them on the website as well. I have another lens here to your left. Down here we have another Pureiba. And look how pretty this fish is. Look at his pose right here. See the way he's standing? This is a Barbados catfish, like the two list, the little ones that you saw on top. I actually caught this one in Brazil when I was in the Amazon fishing. Really, really pretty fish. It looks like a vulture, but no spots. That's the Pureiba. Okay, in this tank right here we have Orandas. We have a white. Uh, Ryukin? Short tail Ryukin. Short tail Ryukin. Yeah. Orange. Orange and white. Black. Well, black and orange. And the yellow parrot. So we do have a couple goldfish. These came in a really good size too, by the way. Yeah. Everybody kept asking me for my white one that I named Lisa. So there's a white one right there. Where is it? Where uh, is it? Right there. there. It's weird how they got spooked like that. Yeah. Alright, to your right. What about this guy? Oh, we got four. Um, Long fin loach, high, high fin, fin loach. We got four of them. We just had that shipment and somebody bought them all. So we only have four. Now these are the Royal Peacocks that came in from Peru. They actually came in last time, but they came in so bad I didn't even put them on the video. I healed them up really good well. with potassium. Pretty well, mm -hmm. pretty good. Well, pretty good. <laughs> They're ready to go. We have two, they're looking more orange than yellow. Let's say two big old parrots, okay? They're gonna be on the website as well. Ripsaw, we just got them. They actually came in in really good shape. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. And they're between, I say eight to 10 inches. That guy back there is around 12. Okay, so we already showed this whole thing. Good, we're doing good progress. All right, salt water. Look at that. They're actually doing pretty good. These groupers, they do that. That one is white and black. I'm sorry, white and yellow. This one is black and yellow. It's almost completely healed up. But it's amazing how they just open their mouth like when you get close to the tank. Come on, buddy. No, he's healing up. So we have that one that's completely healed. 
And then we have this guy here that's healing as well. Look. His lip is almost full healed. But if you focus on that, that's so pretty. Sorry, fresh water guys. That's actually a saltwater fish. So if you have a saltwater tank, we are going to be bringing in some crazy saltwater fish. All right. Down here, we have another lens. Remember, they just arrived, so they're going to be a little sleepy. Up here, I have the Brocopondos from the last shipment. They got a little messed up from shipping, so I'm treating them right now, but they are going to be available. They're healing up pretty good, pretty well, like Lisa says. And this tank right here, we have those, uh, what are they called? Colombian wood. Colombian wood catfish. They're little guys. They kind of look like a... Those black, yeah, the black catfish that we have. And over there is a royal clown loach, no, royal loach, laying sideways, because that's what they do. Are you, are you able to zoom in? All right, royal loach. Down here, the light is not working, so we have to change this light. But we have albino longfin Oscar, ruby Oscar, longfin tiger Oscar, mono peacocks back there, and albino pacos. Correct? Yes. I think I got them all. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so they're all going to be on the website for you guys. Here, I'll help you get up. <laughs> Another lens. By far, these guys are my favorite cats. They have to be, with, together with the broom sharks. These are the Wells cats. Wells cats. Well, catfish. They're doing pretty good. The Chinese Wells cats. They're doing pretty good. They are not fighting. I don't know how we were able to get them to not fight, but they're strong, eating really good. We're almost pretty low. We had about like a hundred of them. Here we have orange tiger and a few more yellow and black tigers. This is it. This is the last of the, the season. So if you guys are looking for one, new time to jump. We have the monster gar. Couple of smaller guards. These are say about 14 inches. This guy's like 24. That one's sold. No, we have more. More to come. No, we already shipped that one to sold. They have that one. Okay, down here we have some um, albino channel cats and some regular channel cats. Another lens. Okay, these are the Fogo peacocks. Now, guys, I don't have many left because 10 of them are going overseas. They're already sold going overseas. So if you want, act fast because they're going to be out, out of stock pretty soon. Down here, I don't even know what this is. This is Dalmatian mollies. I think they came in wrong. And then we have the albino uh, sailfin plecos. But the Dalmatian molly is definitely not a fish that we might do a giveaway with them. Let's just do that. Do a giveaway. These guys right here, the needle nose guards that came in from Peru, they just arrived. Some of them already ate, which is a good sign. Down here we have all types of plecos from that papa, papa roach. No, what is it? Papa pleco. Papa pleco. They came in, like those guys. Look at that. Look at the markings on that peacock. <laughs> His belly is full. A couple of snowballs left. What else? You you are the pleco master. Can't see. Okay, we have, look at these yellow ones. They're super yellow. Then we have a couple left. Royals. Mangoes. Mangoes. Okay. We got a whole variety of plecos. Look how cool this one is, babe. Yeah. All right, over here we have one albino lungfish. I'll say that one's spotted, which is pretty cool. And if you look, it has a little different face than this one. Look, this one is full albino or yellow pinkish, but the face facial shape is a little different. Okay, and then up here we have those uh, Flavis, Flavis, Flavensis cichlids. Now they're starting to look a lot better than when they first arrived. I mean, it's hard to see, but they have yellow, orange, blue. A very pretty cichlid, actually. Then up here, we have the Papua New Guinea sharks or catfish. Those guys are doing really well, really good. 
eating like crazy. All right, down here, we have a group of discus, wild caught green discus. We have a sailfin marbarcara to the right. Sailfin marbarcara. Right here we have a group of larger vulture catfish. Some are really good size. All these guys are over 12 inches. Yeah, they don't want to look at the camera. That one is really nice. Okay, this tank right here, we have little baby red tails. And I don't know, I gotta to talk to Kevin, find out what these peacocks are. I believe there might be monos. So I'll find out from him and we'll have him on the website as well. Okay, now, the last and the best part. Let me finish my wine real quick. Wanna sip? No. This kid is not wine. It's grape juice. Look at the size of these arowanas that came in. Really pretty. They're literally about 12 inches or a little bit longer. So we have the arowanas, silver arowanas. What are these guys again, babe? Pomodellas? Or Natum? Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. Damn, I can't believe I remember the name. So we only have a group of them left. Now guys, these right here are really cool. Look how red and yellow these are. These are the Jingu pikes, okay? They get really pretty when they get big and they eat like crazy. Let me ask you guys some blood arms so you can see how these guys eat. Okay guys, watch this. They do this every day. Look, look, it's like little piranhas. I can literally grab them right now. Look, oh, they're biting my hand. These are so cool. They're not scared of you at all. At all. No, it's almost gone. But it's crazy, like, look, they're all biting my hand. They're not, <laughs> ow, 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 hold on, that one hurt. <laughs> really cool pike. And I like the fact that they're so personable. Look, they're not afraid of you at all. They just like to eat. Yeah. Some of them are getting really good size. And what I really like about them is they never lost their color. Here, get them all, buddies. And they're eating pellets, they're eating bloodworms, mice and shrimp. They literally go for everything. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think? Cool. Looks like a, like a ball. It's, ball. It's funny when they bite you because it doesn't hurt. It's just like little bites. But I did scream. All right. Oh. Right next to that fireball, we have the baby arowanas, the tiny little babies, but they're actually pretty strong. And I actually have this little baby over here that I moved because I was afraid the bigger ones would uh, pick on him. Over here we have the Panema peacock bass. Now these guys actually get really, really pretty. They get very yellow when they get bigger. Awesome peacock bass. Up here we have the TSN marble Akara hybrid. Actually, the TSN, yeah, Marble Car Hybrid, that's what they are. <laughs> Gimbo. Okay, in this tank we have the vultures. Now these guys are probably like six, I'll say six, seven inches. Up here we have the albino arrows. Albino silver arrows. They're, the colors are really pretty though. I think it's a little bit different than last time. They have more of like a yellowish uh, sheen to it. This tank right here, we lost the light. I gotta put new lights in, but we have the blue, giant blue gourami or, or giant red tail gouramis. Yeah. Uh, half banded. Half banded pikes. Ornate them. Ornate, or not. Wow, babe. Damn, sorry. Ornate this year. Ornate Bicher. Bicher. Sorry, 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 guys. Up here, we have a whole group of Johanna pikes that came in. Really pretty as well. Some of them, you know, with the light, they get really colorful. And then we have a group of wild caught angels. Very nice. Now down here, we have a few Tamesas left. That's a, one of the royal ones from Peru. I think that's another royal one, and this is another royal one. So we have three, three to four of them, of the royals in here. We have one 
Did you rinse? Catfish left. Now look at this beast. I'm, not, I'm afraid to even touch him. They're destroying the sponge. Look at this guy. This is a monster. Literally, I think that's what's called a monster. Spiny monster pleco. And this guy right here is what, baby? Uh, I don't know. I, you should know more than me. I don't know. Guys, I'm going to look it up, but look at the markings on this fish. Besides having the thick lines, he also has thinner lines in between. This is a very, very pretty pleco. I think from all the ones that came in from this type, this species, that's the prettiest one I've seen. Okay, let's go to this tank right here. We only have a few more Dorado cats left. And these are the baby rays that were born here, so I'm growing them out. In this tank right here, we have the Bulgarian green angels. Really pretty fish as well. As they get bigger, they get really nice, a nice green sheen to it. And then down here, or back here, we have the leopard cactus. Pull it up, yeah, they stay on there. Look at that. These are captive yeah. bred, high quality leopard cactus. Okay, this is the, the, the Tanke tiger. But we also have two Oscars back there and only like four granulosus catfish left, as you can see, swimming. Okay, we're almost done, babe. Just kidding, we're not. We have the gopers. They actually put some good size on them, besides that little skinny guy back there. And down here, let me move this this way, we have these, there are the vampire plecos. Golden vampire. Right, yeah. the golden vampire plecos. Very pretty fish, but back here we have the prettiest of them all. Look at this guy. This is a Titanic L273 Pleco. And we have that size, which is five, six inches. And we have some bigger ones that we're gonna show it to you guys as well. These right here, really pretty. They kind of look like the reverse Sunshine Pleco, right? They're black with yellow spots. And uh, they came in a really good size as well. They're, they're, they're called L048. Look at that guy. Look at him colors, how black he is. Really pretty fish. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and over here we have the Dynamo catfish as well. These are really pretty as well. Once these guys grow, they get full crumb, just like the Dorado catfish. More of the Panema peacocks. As you can see, we fed them really well. And then we have the King Tiger, King Tiger Plecos. Back there, we're almost sold out on them as well. We only have a few uh, detonoids left, and you can see they're all dark. Once you put them in a, in, a, in a tank with a background, they'll look a lot prettier. Sunshine Plecos, we have them small size and bigger size. What's is that like a, a vampire it's a more right there? Golden vampire. Okay. Okay, these are the red mouth. They just arrived. There's two of them that I gotta treat. That's another one of those pretty plecos back there. It's a little dark, but we're gonna put really good pictures on the website for you guys. Then we have only a few of the, what do they call again? Harlequin Lancers. Harlequin Lancers left. Two giant carps. I think Aeropimas, we might only have like five or six left. Look it up here. How many of these guys we have left? Not many, right? Whoa, hold on. Yeah, we, some of them are already sold for them, so. It's hard to see, and Lisa doesn't like to zoom a lot of times. But these are the uh, Black, Widow Black Widow Frontosas. Oh, just because I said that, now I'm just gonna zoom in. Really pretty fish, but it's small. Uh, these guys are like half an inch. It's focusing on the. That's okay. PC. All right, down here, we have another one of those beautiful plecos and a couple of patrons. Over here, we have the Royal Hakara, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's only two or three Spangled Cichlids left. We have this huge L273 Titanic Pleco. His fins are still healing up, but this guy is doing really well. Mm -hmm. 
And then we have these blue Turushukis, which our supplier said these guys can grow up to three feet. I'm not sure about that. I have to double check. And then one of the royal peacocks over there. In this tank right here, we have another Titanic L273. They're really pretty. They have like a, a rose gold, right, color to them. Yeah. And then we have bigger giant gouramis, red tail gouramis. One of the marble sailfin Akara. And one, what is he back there? Get out of there. It's gonna be very hard to see him, but it's uh, the albino Asian red tail. See him? Mm -hmm. Really pretty fish. He's fast. Yeah, these guys grow pretty big as well. Very rare and very pretty. Okay. Sorry, babe. We're almost done. If you if you're already up and you want to show guys, we have all these flower horns left. Okay. Now they're actually the colors are looking really good. If you are interested in any of them, just let me know which one, and we're gonna work on a price for you. Okay. I'm not even gonna put them on the website because there are a lot of them. But on this video, just let me know which one you like, and we can work a deal. Look, there's another um, albino Asian red tail. And then two more flower horns. Okay, back to where we were. These are, let me make sure I put the lids on so they don't jump. Okay, so these are the spider kelberries. They look a little darker here because the sink is a little, the light's not that bright, but they're very pretty. That's another one of those peacocks, I mean peacocks. Another one of those plecos. And what is that, L24 or L25? Four. Let's see, a super red, right? I think this might be a, a super red L24. Really pretty fish. And we're gonna put all their pictures, individual pictures on the website. In this tank right here, I think we only have one Rakobaku left, one Irwini back there, and three of the Centradoras. So all these guys are gonna be on the website as well. Here is a huge L24, a lot of red in the fins. Let me see if I can get him to puff up. But this, this might be like a super, super red. Look at that guy. These are the Jingu peacocks, all eating really well, as you can see. And there's another Titanic up here. Come this way, bud. This, that guy's healing up really good, really well. Look at that dude. Look at the colors of him. It's hard to see, because like I said, this tank, the lights are not that bright, but look at him. Really pretty. Red, 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 red everywhere. Good size, ow, bastard. Now you can see him really well. Azul peacocks, one more arapaima. I don't want to stress them out too much because I just they just ate. Asian red tails, and we got a couple of medusas. Black oh black back there. Here we have the honeycomb, black oh, the golden nugget, and then we have the golden nugget with bigger spots, right? Like that. Look at that one right on top of the sponge. Look how pretty that fish is. You see it? So we have the ones with little spots and the one with bigger spots. Some of these aeropimas are sold. I do have this endless cherry right here, babe, that he's available for sale. Ooh, scared the crap out of me. Good size on that guy. And I have another super red L25 as well. Look at him, posing up. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, so we showed everything we have at the shop. Like I said, if you're interested in any of the flower horns, just send... Look how pretty this guy is. Just let me know, and we'll work out a deal for you. I want them to go to good homes. And everything is going to be up for sale for the next week. If you see anything you like, just go to the website, predatoryfins.com, and you can purchase there. Again, everything is going to be at a discount rate. Now, some of this fish, we're probably not going to get it again because they're seasonal. So take advantage of the Jingu pikes. 
I promise you that you're going to love them. And the bumblebee groupers, okay? These guys as well are really cool fish. Right now they're in salt water. We're going to take some of them and transfer to brackish, and some of them we're going to transfer to fresh. But they're already doing very well. Let me see. I can't grab any of them. But look how yellow they get, though. Really, really pretty fish. Doc is over here trying to mess with them. He already put on some size. So, guys, we're going to have everything on the website. Sorry, I closed the lid on you. Like I said, if you see anything you like, let us know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Last one, last one. Come this way. Watch, watch your step. This guy is not for sale. It's garbage. Okay. So, I do have only a few more of the golden Asian whales. One, two, three, four, and a bigger one right here, five. All right, so again, if you see anything you like, let us know. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna, probably gonna show you all the saltwater fish that we had, and we have an, a, a following video after that, which is, oh look, Doc is coming up. We gotta show Doc. Look at the golden shark, the albino shark. All right, let's leave the rest for the next video. Again, sorry guys, I go everywhere. My mind is everywhere. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.